I know, I promised you guys I was gonna be doing an updated hair companies video, so here it is. A couple disclaimers, I feel like I always have to get a few disclaimers out of the way because sometimes, you know, People just like to just say things and I just want to make sure if you're going to say something to me that you come correct. So first things first, not all the hair that I am going to be talking to you guys about or telling you guys about was sent to me. I do buy hair with my own money. I am a hair channel so it's probably only right for you guys to assume hair is sent to me nonstop all day every day but no that's not the case i still love hair so i do go out and actually spend my own money on a lot of the hair so it's kind of like 50 50 yes hair gets sent to me but i buy hair just as much so i just want to make sure to get that out of the way so if you're going to want to know i'm probably going to get some comments and be like well what hair was sponsored and what hair was not sponsored what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the links for all of the hair companies that I'm referencing, my like individual video reviews in my description box. So if you guys would like to know the information, I would encourage you to go click on that video. It is an in-depth video and a review and I state all that whether I paid for it or not in those videos. So I'm not gonna be answering those questions in the comments section. So it's gonna be a mixture of both basically, but for those of you guys who just absolutely have to watch my original video review. I'm very honest when I'm sending hair, some hair is not always, you know, a five star review. I'm very, you know, if you guys are familiar with my channel, I pretty much give you guys the real deal and that's why a lot of you guys do come to my channel for my opinions on a lot of these different hair companies that are out there. So I do appreciate that. I know that any hair review that I do is based on my personal experience, based on what I receive. So everybody's experience may be different, but I'm just giving you guys, um, my opinion. If you're curious about what hairs in my head right now, I will go ahead and link it down below in my description box as well. There's going to be a ton of information down there. Before we get started, you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. You guys can feel free to leave your comments and feedback if you have bought hair from these same hair companies that I'm going to mention. The comment section is open. I do not delete comments whether you had a good or a bad experience. Whatever you have to say, it will stay down there for other viewers to see and for me to see myself too. So feel free to leave a comment and comment on any of these hair companies if you guys like to. As my favorites towards the end of the video, I will go ahead and share with you guys some of my little tips to help my units last longer. I do not buy, I buy hair frequently, but I don't have to buy hair like every two months every three months because my units literally last for almost six months to a year mainly on the latter end of the spectrum like i can make or get my wigs to last anywhere between that like seven or eight month all the way to a year sometimes even plus and the main reason for that is because i do wear my installs glueless so it's not like wear and tear um heavy on the lace and i just take care of them so if you guys are interested in the tips uh, stay tuned towards the end of the video so I'll just share with you guys just little things that I do to make my units last longer and how I basically upkeep okay I do have my notes here because I want to make sure that I stay on topic and say everything that it is that I want to say so the first hair company that I'm going to go with is a new hair company that I tried I think this year or towards the end of last year and I'm so glad that I came across them and it is going to be OMG her hair now what I want to say about them is they have the best quality wigs their wigs are top tier um, a lot of you guys that have commented under my videos for that particular hair company say the exact same thing i'm surprised none of y'all told me about them before because they are definitely one of my new favorites and are going to continue to be my favorites main reason is because they are very beginner friendly wigs there is absolutely no customization needed of course if you choose to go in and customize it that's going to be a matter of like personal preference but just understand that you don't have to do anything to the wig if you don't want to how it comes out of the package is literally ready to wear like you could even skip washing it if you just didn't feel like washing it and can just install it right away i had two of their textured wigs i've had a yaki straight and also a kinky straight wig when it comes to those two textured wigs that i have tried they do not curl so don't get it looking for it to curl but aside from that i feel like they have like the best units um definitely somebody that's worth checking out it depends on what you get from them some of them are like mildly affordable the other ones you're going to pay a little bit more towards the 300 400 maybe up range i don't know what all they have on there i just know that that's what i got when i went on there looking but you have to understand that you're paying for the customization that is already done to it which is the majority of the work that you would normally put in if it didn't come customized so they do that 
for you already so you kind of have to factor that into the price range if you ask me i say the price is justifiable it is well worth it you will not have any issues with this hair company i guarantee you guys if you guys decide to give them a try textures are very natural looking um they look really good when they are pressed out but of course you could wear them in their natural state just very versatile looking you do not need baby hairs to install with um, either um, any of their wigs really because they do such a really good job at plucking the hairline but that would have to be my number one hair company um, that is making the list okay, now the next hair company that still makes the cut for this video is going to be Wiggins hair I feel like they have the best HD lace wigs and they have the best medium brown lace especially for us chocolate women their lace game is unmatched it is thin it melts easily it is just so flawless they have the best lace but they also have good units i don't like all of their textures so i'm going to be sure to tell you guys which ones in particular i really do like and that's going to be the straight hair and their body wave hair now the thing with wiggins hair their hair it just feels very luxurious it has like a nice luster and a shine to it so that's the main reason why i like their units i always tell people if you plan on getting their bundles they're like the wig it's a very silky texture so if you're getting it for a sewing with leave out you kind of have to make sure your leave out is on point just because the hair is more on the silkier side the reason why they're one of my favorites is mainly just because of the longevity with their wigs i think the longest unit that i've had from them was like two years and that was a closure wig i wore it like pretty consistently for like six months straight and then i was just like kind of wearing it off and on Same thing with me is when i can get so much use out of a wig i feel like that is money well spent so wiggins hair is definitely a hair company that i would say um satisfies that requirement i always get minimal shedding with their units as well and that's pretty much it i have plenty of videos um on wiggins hair i think i've even had their curly hair too now in general curly hair is typically not my favorite go-to texture um just because i feel like i never really know how to make it work for me so their curly hair is it's decent but what i constantly um get from them all the time is either their straight hair or their body wave hair so the next hair company on my list is another new company that i had tried recently last year and that is hurella hair company now for them they're like an up and coming hair company to be honest they kind of almost compare to wiggins hair to me like they are almost up there with wiggins hair that's just how good their hair is now what i really recommend from them is going to be their curly hair and their body wave hair i'm sure their other textures are probably good as well i mean straight hair i never really tried their straight hair but it's not too often that hair companies really drop the ball with straight hair if anything that usually happens with the other texture so yeah their curly hair and their body wave wigs are what i really like I got two of them last year i'm still wearing them they can still be worn there's nothing bad about them the shedding has not increased they're not like getting tangled or matte or anything like that so this particular hair company i don't think a lot of people know about them but they really shocked me so if wiggins hair is maybe out of your price range or they may have something that's not in stock at the time or available i would recommend as a backup to try this hair company because like i said the the two of them are pretty much almost comparable I'm proud of myself for like trying new hair companies because typically i tend to stick to like what i'm used to what i know is not going to disappoint but it does not hurt to try new hair companies because the hair ends up being like you know everything i wanted and more so that is one that is new that i'm adding to the list you guys will probably notice like some of the hair companies mentioned in my previous top favorites videos are not they didn't really make the cut for this video but that's mainly because like the quality changed or maybe i started having too many issues with it so i didn't feel like although they're decent they're not like no longer my favorite so that's only if you guys have seen my other previous videos you guys will notice some of those hair companies from that video did not make the cut for this video and up next on my list is going to be julia hair now when it comes to julia hair i'm just going to keep this short and sweet and simple my absolutely favorite my absolute favorite type of wig to get from them is their body wave hair i do not really care too much for any other texture that they have but their body wave hair will always have my heart i have bought their body wave wig probably twice now so yeah, you guys can check out those videos so you guys can see just how amazing and flawless that hair is. The only thing that I will say about the most recent Body Wave wig that I got from them, I believe it was a closure wig. The only thing I had to do differently this time that I don't remember having to do last time was go in and dust the ends a little bit. Not give it like a cut, but just kind of trim the ends because they were looking just a little questionable, but it was no big deal. I literally took out probably like half an inch if that but they're still really good quality wigs their body wave wigs hold a curl 
they straighten really easily and they just wear so flawlessly they're so voluminous look amazing when they're curled and they will hold a curl literally all day and then some until you decide to like straighten the hair so rather it be a body wave closure wig or a body wave frontal wig that you were looking for i would recommend that you guys go ahead and get it from julia hair come back and tell me how much you guys love it because i like i said have two of their body wave units and neither one of them have disappointed and lastly i'm going to go ahead and give you guys some honorable mentions now honorable mentions means these companies are not like my top favorites but they're worth mentioning just because there's like maybe one or two things that i do like about these hair companies Let's start with ali pro hair and basically they're one of the companies where they're kind of become inconsistent at least to me in my opinion so i had to kind of knock them down a notch however I will always love their deep wave hair. That's one thing that's never going to change. They still have the best deep wave hair on the market. And then, of course, their straight hair is bomb, too. Those two textures in particular are worth mentioning for this video. I mentioned it in my last video, too, so that has not changed at all. Another honorable mention I would do is probably, like, I want to say Asteria hair, but my issue with Asteria hair is they're, like, one of the prime examples of the inconsistent quality, like, the wigs that I was getting from them, you know, even the wigs that they were sending to me, they just were not it. It either was an issue with the cap size or the quality of the hair, or they just had like really super full hairlines, which made it hard to pluck. They had really big knots on the lace, which made it hard to bleach. And I just kind of got tired of dealing with that. Next mention is going to be icy hair. And the main texture that I really love from them is going to be their Mongolian kinky curly hair. I buy that wig at least once a year. So I bought it twice and then they actually just sent it to me like last month. So I'm going to be doing a video on that really really soon so if you guys like that hair texture then make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss it then the last honorable mention that i have is going to be west kiss hair strictly only for their body wave wigs that's it that's all their body wave wigs are flawless especially if you get it in the hd lace form i've had the regular lace version of this wig like a long time ago but the hd lace Body wave wigs um, from West Kiss Hair are also top tier in my opinion. So that pretty much concludes what are my top favorites for this year. I'm going to continue to try more hair companies throughout the rest of this year. If you guys have any hair companies that you guys know for a fact that I have not tried or reviewed here on my channel, you guys can feel free to leave it in the comment section. That way I can do my research and then check it out and hopefully I could, you know, showcase you know whatever hair company you guys recommend here on my channel now the little simple tips that i do to help take care of my wigs that i want to share with you guys are very simple but i promise you guys to do these with your wig it makes a world of a difference with the longevity and you taking care of it and how the wig wears so i'm not really a product person so at most i will put maybe mousse on the hair that's really about it as far as like for my edges i will either use the bold hold liquid gold which is kind of similar to like the black got to be glued gel or i will use eco styler or i would even use my style factor edge booster those are all products i feel when it comes to doing the edges that are going to be like the least harsh to use on the hairline of a wig next really important things uh, or tips that i have for you guys with your wigs is to always use a moisturizing shampoo a lot of these wigs um they have very nice lusters and shine to them and you kind of want to keep up with that and not like strip the hair so that it does not end up looking dry and dull. The key to doing that and maintaining that look of the hair is to use a moisturizing shampoo. It doesn't have to be the most expensive one on the market. It can be a cheap one, you know, whatever is in your price range as long as it's a moisturizing shampoo. I like to use Aussie. I will use Afogee sometimes and I will even go as far as using... Um, darn what is another good one it's like on the tip of my tongue right now but i will leave it in the description box for you guys because i feel like that is something that is really helpful along with that the next tip that i have that i make sure to say this in pretty much all of my videos is that i do like to let my wigs air dry i do not blow dry them anymore or anything like that i feel like you get a better you know press or a better curl if you plan on curling the hair once you let it air dry just oppose as you kind of drying the hair out with the blow dryer because then a lot of times people go in with like hair serums to kind of bring back that shine but that can pretty much be avoided if you just kind of let it air dry and i just pretty much sat on my mannequin head and i will put my fan on it and then let it do its thing like that tip which you guys this is probably going to be so obvious my next tip to wear it glueless you guys 
you can get a pretty decent lace mount when you go glueless. I know everyone wants that like scalp like look and wants their hairline to be snatched. However, sometimes that's not always good for the wigs because then you'll find yourself having to buy wigs more often. There are plenty of glueless products out there that you guys can use. I mentioned some in the beginning of the video and those are pretty much the ones that I stick to. This is another great option. This is the ORS um, Olive Oil Fix It Super Hole Spray. The even lace sprays are great. You could even probably tack your wig down with this Fantasia Super Spritz, which is really cheap. You can get this. This was $2 at the beauty supply store. My good and faithful bold hold liquid gold and that's pretty much it those are really the main products that i use for my glueless installs these products come off with water so you can reinstall your wig over and over again it's very easy cleanup a lot of times when i take my wigs off it just takes me spraying a little bit of water on the hairline and then just kind of rubbing my finger under the lace and the product kind of just comes off or I just go ahead and wash it, but it, it's not as harsh as having to use like lace uh, glue remover and to like scrub the wig and do all the other little hacks that there are for removing glue from the lace. Glueless just takes the hassle out of all of that, especially because I don't sleep in my wig. It's easy for me to, like when I take this wig off, for instance, I'm gonna take my spray bottle, wet the hairline, like gently rub it in and it's gonna lift right off. It's gonna take me all of like 10 seconds to take this off. Um, another tip that I have for my middle part wears, for those of you guys who strictly only like to wear middle parts, you don't have to get a frontal wig. I would suggest getting a closure wig, especially because you're only gonna be wearing it in a middle part. And if you, I mean, if you care about your hair being tucked behind your ear, then yes, I would say get a frontal. But if that really doesn't matter to you, so you can say, a little bit of money and you can get way more you know use out of a closure wig i would recommend that you guys go that route last tip that i have for making your lace wigs last a little bit longer is to not over bleach your knots um i know everyone wants their wig to look like scalp and all of this good stuff but you do not want to over bleach when you over bleach the knots it just you know essentially it weakens them and then that's gonna you're gonna get a lot of shedding if you like continue to like bleach your knots to the max around my complexion we don't really need the knots to be that blonde color you can lift it to where it gets that shade just right before it turns blonde and it's still gonna look good i find that that super bleach blonde look looks better on the lighter skin tones it it just melts better in their skin and they need the knots to be a little bit lighter but i found that with our type of skin tone or if you're anything close to my skin tone you do not really have to go for that super 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 blonde look when you are bleaching your knots if you do not know how to bleach your knots i do have a video that i just did recently on that how to bleach and pluck so make sure that you guys check that video out if that is something that you're wanting to learn how to do yourself so that concludes this video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment section is open i'm here to respond to any questions that you guys may have as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time